Hey everyone, it's Will, Gamer Dad, with another video for you. So in today's episode of Back to Basics, I would like to talk about Valor Chants, which are also known as VC, the different uses of them, and how best to utilize them. So one of my subscribers was just requesting a type of video like this um, to kind of go over the basics of using them. So by now we we'll probably all know how to activate a VC, but just in case you're not sure, all you have to do is switch an active frontline unit with someone in the back. As the new unit comes in, he or she will automatically activate a VC. Now generally, a VC's effect will last for the remainder of the turn they come in on, as well as for the duration of the next turn as well. This allows for some pretty cool effects or benefits. Now I won't be focusing on zone VCs, um, the only thing you really need to know about that is that if your unit is a zone setter, like in this case Mayumfa, their VC will activate a zone where those types of attacks do more damage and other types of attacks get reduced. So for elemental zones, it will reduce uh, by 50% the opposite um, element, and for weapon zones, it reduces by 30% all other types of weapons and magic other than the uh, weapon zone it is. Okay, so you can also stack on VCs if you switch on multiple units from the back into play, and we'll discuss this a little bit later on. Now one thing to note is that if you swap a frontline unit to the back, the time that happens in that turn depends on the frontline unit's speed, and also depends on the boss's speed as well. Now if you bring in someone directly from the back, uh, that is not swapping, it really depends on that unit's speed. Of course, you can only do this if you don't have all units uh, in the front, and I'll show you that uh, later on in this Rot Rifle battle. Now remember that leaving multiple units in the back, and only one or two units in front, is a great way for your units in the back to recover or avoid damage, as long as a single uh, unit or units in front can tank hits. So, when you look over your existing units, and especially when you get a new unit, make sure you evaluate their VC to see how best to use it, and if it's not an important um, you know, for your strategies. It really depends. Some VCs are better, and some are not. And in some cases, the VC effects are just as important as the unit's move set. And when I do do 5 star reviews, I try to mention that uh, unit's particular VC, so watch for that as well. So in this case, um, so so far in this particular battle, I VC'd in Xion to reduce the uh, physical attack or the power of the enemy, and that will reduce our damage. As well, on turn 1, I VC'd in uh, Mariel OG to give ourselves an elemental shield of plus 35%, which will reduce the um, AoE wind attack of Rock Rival. After that, it's just a matter of planning out uh, the moves against the boss and kind of making sure we survive. Now, you'll see in a couple of turns, you see those lights underneath the uh, uh, slot 1 and 3? Now, Rot Rival has a special attack that if you do leave the players in there during that rotation, they will get zapped and either get stunned and confused as well as take some massive non-elemental damage. So we actually do have to rotate people to the back just to avoid that, like we said, and we have to leave one or two units up front to kind of tank those hits. So unfortunately, um, Seti had to take one for the team there. Now, um, we are going to leave Mary out for one more turn such that the lightnings on those slot 1 and 3s will hit, and then we'll bring people back in. So you can see that we cast Aurora Force there, and keep in mind that you are able to combine uh, benefits from VCs with your moves that you cast as you're doing the battle. So that's something really important to note as opposed to just, you know, um, winging it, so to speak. Okay, so we're going to rotate all four VCs in because we need all the damage we can. And keep in mind that, like I said before, the speed of each unit is dependent on who comes in first. Now, Mario being the fastest, I brought in uh, Garyu to put a 30% uh, fire debuff uh, resistance on the enemy, and then we have Red Rays, Xion's, and Sukiya's, and it basically stacks a bunch of debuffs as well as boosting your team, and you can see the amount of damage we're doing. If we didn't do as many VCs, the numbers you'll see would be a lot smaller, so um, bear that in mind as well. I wouldn't say that VCs are absolutely necessary, but if you really want to maximize your damage, and like I said, in some of the more difficult fights than even this, um, you know, without doing certain VCs such as power down and protecting your units, um, you can easily die, so keep that in mind as well. Okay, so uh, 
There you go. That battle was done fairly easily. And of course, we could have already two turned that, but I just wanted to demonstrate uh, some of the VCs that you can use in battles. Okay, so now that we covered some of the basic information about VCs, it's time to group them into different categories. Uh, the first one I'd like to talk about is the Instant Effect VC. Uh, the best example of this is Joker's VC, uh, which deals damage upon entering the field. Other examples, for example, are his Mina and Aesethi, both of which do damage upon arrival. Note that there are also some that have healing properly, like AS Mario's heal or Yuna's status heal. Damage ones are great for clearing mobs, but they, un unfortunately they actually have very limited use in tough boss battles. I mean, the damage you do is only in the tens of thousands, right? Now, the second one we want to talk about is uh, grouped into Shield Valor Chance, or what I call Shield Valor Chance. So these increase physical or type resistance for your team, and they're very useful for surviving massive boss attacks. So um, in this case, I'm going to do no Valor Chant and just kind of attack to show you the damage difference between not shielding and shielding. The key to using these is to understand and remember the move rotation of the boss so you know when to activate this and bring in characters to uh, do the uh, Valor Chant. So you can see, we took quite a bit of damage, almost 2,000 of most of our units. So for example, um, we can use Mario, which has a 35% type resist, the turn before a strong magical attack, or if the enemy was doing uh, you know, really strong physical AoEs, you could use Annabelle, which has a 35% physical resist VC the turn before a strong physical attack. Okay. So we already benefit from the uh, water zone, and then we also benefit from Meryl's VC. So we only took 1100 damage here. Remember that elemental physical attacks can be partially shielded by one or both resistances. So you can stack both for best results, and keep in mind that you can stack VC's benefits with moves that your frontline units use as well. So for example, if you have OG uh, Annabelle, you can cast Guardian Soul and combine that with Meryl's VC for both physical and type resistance together. So uh, the third one I want to talk about, the third group, would be the debuff VCs. And these decrease different stats or abilities in the, on your enemies. So uh, the most common ones are speed, power, and int debuffs. And those are usually that kind of brown symbol. Like you can see that we had VC in Dewey. And there's an int debuff right there. As well as a water resist uh, debuff. Again, you really want to use power and int debuffs to reduce the damage you take. Either physical or magical. Or in the case of type or physical resist debuffs. To increase the damage you deal um, you know, either the turn of when it comes in. So, you would use the power and int debuff the turn before the enemy does a major attack. And, you would use your type and physical resist debuffs the turn before you activate a large AF for maximum damage. And we just got one last uh, uh, Oasis wave in there, plus the final AF finisher for 69 million damage. And again, we definitely could have done less damage and still ended the boss, but if you're talking about maximizing your damage, um, VCs are very, very important in order to, uh, you know, accomplish that. Okay, so the final group of VCs I would like to talk about are uh, buff VCs. So these mainly increase your team's DPS, so make sure you use these to turn before you activate a large AF, just like the previous example. And it is done in the same ways as, uh, you know, the type or physical resist debuff. So basically, the overall use of Valor Chance is, you know, when you bring them in, the, the effects last again for the turn that comes in plus one full turn after that. And then, when you can get multiple effects in play, um, you know, it can stack the damage into the multiples. And like, for example, just think of it this way. If you power down the enemy by 25%, you're taking a lot less damage. If you reduce the um, you know, type resist, for example, fire resist on the enemy by 25%, you're doing 25% more damage. If you have a shield up, you're taking 35% less damage. So, uh, especially if you're taking 3,000 damage per hit, for example, 35% less is one-third roughly, so you're taking 1,000 less. And let's be honest, 2,000 um, can make the difference between, uh, you know, surviving or not surviving as opposed to taking 3,000 damage. Now, back to stacking VCs as well as the timing of rotating units in. Remember what I said about how the speed stat of your units dictates who comes in first. 
So you really want to be familiar with the speed stats of the units on at each particular team to best utilize that. A best example would be uh, that Mana in general and Mario, for example, has a much higher speed stat than most uh, fighters. So I can use either of them to activate their uh, the first VC from the back. And then if I want to do a second VC, I can use a slower unit to activate the second one if needed. So in this case, we're going to do um, two VCs here, back to back. And Renry came in first. Now, keep in mind that Xion's generally slower than Mariel, so technically, um, Gario should have come in first and AS Renry would come in second. However, there is a 10% speed variance when you're doing um, any sort of speed-based moves, and so sometimes it doesn't work out completely in your favor. What you really wanted to do was have Gario come in to apply the 30% fire resistance debuff, and then Renry comes in not only to boost her own speed, remember that she boosts all fire attacks by your team by 35%. So that's really kind of how you want to time your uh, VCs coming in to maximize your damage. I mean, in this case, we boosted uh, Sukiya as well as Seti, but we were unable to boost Gary. Anyways, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.